Yo, what up, guys? Welcome to Digital Blackface. <laughs> Welcome to episode 32. Today we are talking about a weird organization. Um, anyway, the title is called The Problem with Prostasia. We are here with our usual cast. My man, Baku. Hey, hey, people. Uh, Amy. Good night. Of course, the German. And we are here with our special guest, Manipulator God. Howdy. Manipulator Lord now. Manipulator Lord. I apologize. I don't mean a dead name. Um, so. That was funny. <laughs> oh, <laughs> anyway, um, if you guys know anything about the drama over the last weekend, like, um, there's this organization called Prostasia on Twitter. And they are pretty freaking weird. Okay. Like, let me put it this way. They are basically a pedo organization and they're not even in hiding okay they are just straight up a pedo organization um baku do you remember uh, a, a bunch of the tweets i made and shu made and a bunch of other people made over the weekend yup i did like let me just tell you straight up prostasia defines themselves as uh how do i put this as a child protection organization but they're not what? Like, no, that's how they define themselves. It's a child protection organization. Like, on their website, they'll say stuff like, there is someone called CPS. What the fuck? Wait, what? It's a child protection agency, more like child protection services. Jesus Christ. Okay, like, literally, on their website, they'll say stuff like, there is never any justification for adults to have sexual contact with children or to use or traffic in child sexual abuse imagery. But, like... But... Yeah, like literally, no, literally, literally that there's always a butt with them. Like they'll have like uh they have a map support group. It's a club for minor attracted people age 13 and up. It's invite only and they have several other private chats like that. And for some reason, the 13 and up, they don't see why that is like odd with people. Like you're putting 13 year olds in 13 and ups in like engagement with literal previous offenders or people who have issues with wanting to offend. You see the big issue, right? Oh, 100%. Yeah. And for, for some reason, they're always like, they're really, they talk about sex positivity all the time. And like their director of communications, his name is Noah Berlotsky. He has been, he has been, what's it called? Private on Twitter for a while now. And he's been private because of some of the things he said, uh, kind of giving him some backlash. You want to know some of the things he said? Like, parents, sure. are, parents are tyrants. Parents are an oppressive group. Parents only, harm, <laughs> parents only harm children with the way they treat them. This the, guy looks like an anti-Semitic caricature of, like, a witch. He does like a really old TV show. Like I, I had to make it clear that I did not make him look like that on the, on the thumbnail. That's just the picture he took. That's the picture he took of himself. That should be a red flag. That that's just like <laughs> yeah, this one's Instagram worthy. All of his pictures are like that. They're all from they're all from that angle. That slightly looking down, and it's I. That was the best picture I could find of him that made him look least like a creep. Like it's <sighs> okay. Oh <clears throat> Wait, did you just say that was his best picture? If you Google Noah Berlotsky on Google, that is the best picture you can find of him. All of them look creepy. <laughs> All of them look creepy. Okay, so basically. Oh my God, you're right. <clears throat> yeah, what the fuck? I told you that's the okay, best picture I could find of him. Like, <laughs> it makes no sense. In fact, let me actually show you guys on stream. Some of the pictures of this guy, like just straight up right now. Like, let's see, Noah Belotsky. Let me bring it up. Thank you, Jamie. <laughs> Stop calling me Jamie. Okay, so female Poe's name, Jamie. I swear to God, guys. Also, um, sorry if, for dead naming you, Poe. Oh my God. If you see my, um, please don't talk about how many tabs I have. I'm very sensitive about it. Eat shit for how many times? Yeah. Have. Me when I add a browser source. Like these are all his. 
Poe with no ad browser source from the beginning. <laughs> Shut up. Literally, look look at there none of them get any better. These are how they all look, like just from the beginning. That second one it. looks like he just really, <laughs> not even just like not offending map. He looks like he straight up just rapes children. <laughs> It does not get better than this. Like he, oh, before we get sued. <laughs> oh no! The funny thing is, like the funny thing is, he and his people, he and his like the directors of the uh, organization, for some reason, every time like some two hundred, one hundred follower person on Twitter mentions their organization, they go after them for months. Like they DM them. Some some people have been sent like lolly porn like mass in their DMs. Like it's just crazy. Like I don't know what they're actually doing. But they don't seem like a serious organization. And so what I'm hearing is you're baiting him into doing it now. No, 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 no. I'm not baiting him into doing anything. Although I could definitely handle if he tried something. But still, Noah, like, for whatever your name is, Poe wants you to DM him. You know what? That's not what I said. That is not at he all. Wants, Poe wants that smoke. That Any images in your hard drive. That is he wants not you to a... mail him your hard drive. Please don't mail me your hard drive, Noah. Oh. <laughs> Okay. No, baby, please listen. No, baby. <laughs> you don't know what's in that hard drive. Please we don't have. make me mail it to you. <laughs> okay, so like, let me be honest. Like, the, the their blog editor, this lady, her name is Sheila Van Dil Van Den Hoovel Collins. Um, I'm sorry. Her her name is what Sheila. What kind of name is that? Did you just cough? Well, look, her <laughs> name is Sheila Van Den Hoovel Collins. That's her. That's her Uma name. Collins. <laughs> Why does it sound? Is that actually a German last name? I know Vanden Heuvel Collins. I don't know. Basically, she was their their blog editor up until January 2020, and she resigned in January 2020 because she tweeted on Christmas Day in 2019. This is what she tweeted, and I quote: "Merry Christmas to everyone, including the nepiophiles, pedophiles, hebophiles, and aphibophiles who have to put up with people virtue signaling and perpetuating stigma." Every single day of the year, she joined them a year yeah, no, ago. Yeah, she joined them a year ago as a blog, as their blog editor. Listen, if Why you don't does know, she sound like me though. Listen, if, if you don't know what a nepiophile is, it is someone who is attracted to newborns, like oh. newborns to toddlers. How compelling! Please face the wall now. <laughs> Pedophiles are like toddlers and up, and hebophiles and aphibophiles are like teenagers. Hmm. So basically, I'm glad we're really get, digging into the semantics of this. Yeah, that's that because it, it makes it even worse once you understand the semantics. She's like, basically, months before she joined Prostasia as their blog editor in 2019, she published a book by herself called "Past the Dark Field," where she described what she described the book a collection of short stories about minor attracted peoples. Basically, she said she was inspired because she saw so much anti-pedo content on social media. Good. L. <laughs> uh, and I will hide no, I will hide no, none of my fucking hatred towards them. Like, it is all in the open. Fuck them. Organizations what? like this are the reason that I'm a very proud gun owner. Like, uh, no, this organization, uh, no, they say it themselves. This organization is like no other in the world. They hit, that's that's the, their own phrasing. It's on their website. That's public. Yes, <laughs> like their their communication director Noah Berlotsky, He has written articles like "Child Sex Workers' Biggest Threat Are the Police." I'm sorry. Okay, yeah, face the wall. That's it. Just just face the wall. Oh my god, the chat is going crazy. With, okay, okay, basically. Prostasia by themselves has a big problem. Like they'll come up with like um, they don't do like background checks before they hire people, or they do background checks and just don't care. So or they do background checks specifically to see if you are offending. So basically, in 2018, I could see that they hired a research associate called Jeff White to serve as a liaison between Prostasia and its stakeholder communities with marginalized stakeholder groups. Probably meaning pedophiles. So, okay. Sarah Fillimore, a family lawyer in the UK, discovered that that guy had been arrested in 2012 for sleeping with someone, for raping someone under the age of 13. I was going to say, you, oh, oh, you forgot oh. the word rape. There it is. 
like like they call themselves a child protection <laughs> they call themselves a child protection organization but up until like may 22nd of last year they had no actual child protection experts like their their board their advisory council their advisory council had two sex offenders on it two just unapologetic sex offenders what the fuck yeah and they literally they brought in a, a, a psychologist a psychologist who specifically who's been like uh pushed away from the major psych psychology community because he keeps saying on social media that pedophilia is basically just homosexuality oh yeah no that's true what the fuck yeah like pet uh prostasia also welcomes self-described pedophile like if you self-identify as a pedophile they'll let you volunteer someone on its online forum asked in may 2020 do you accept pedophiles like myself as volunteers and the executive director said we don't make a policy of asking people about their sexuality before they're allowed to volunteer like they constantly refer to pedophilia as a recognized sexual orientation a full sexuality oh dear yeah yeah it's yeah they don't i want to vomit in my own mouth <laughs> Like, okay, please don't fed pose too much. We don't want, yeah. Like they, they some VR mate says their sexuality. Yeah, they refer to pedophilia as a full on sexuality, not like a paraphilia, not like a mental issue. They treat it as a sexuality. Like they support the sale. Of, like they're based in San Francisco, and they support the sale of childlike sex dolls, which is very, very messed up because, uh, child sex dolls don't actually help pedophiles they don't they don't do anything to help them it just makes them more likely to offend if anything it's not like a, a treatment or sad. anything <laughs> like um they like they also like to hide behind they like to like push their arguments and put them behind free speech and a libertarian arguments like they're very That's big it. they're very big on supporting like the lolly community and all that because they'll just hide behind them which is you're so they're supportive of people with shit me, face, of course. You're telling me a group of pedophiles are all libertarians? <laughs> Get out of fucking town. Okay. <laughs> so, like, um, the funny thing is, like, <laughs> a lot of, like, Prostasia, for some reason, spends money commis commissioning a, a lot of, like, uh, lolly art and, like, uh, childlike sex dolls for some reason, which is very weird for an organization. Like, they're not even they're they're considered delinquent in their state like they don't have any they're not recognized an organization they're not recognized legally as a child protection anything like because of that all of their fundraising comes from people on amazon uh when they um people from amazon selecting them as their preferred charity that's where their fundraising comes from no. so uh. That's there's a lot of money coming in from a lot of weirdos who support Prostasia. It's not like people just publicly giving the money. Like they're considered delinquent in like um the California Registry of Charities because Oh wait, they're housed in California? Yeah, San Francisco. Color me surprised. Libertarians, Californian, probably gay. That's all starting <laughs> to add up, man. <laughs> uh okay. So basically, another funny thing about the MAP support club, they won't let you into the chat if you are under 18 and not a MAP. So basically, you, also, you have to have a sexual inclination to join the support group, which, like, by itself, you're like, oh, that makes sense. But you, you understand where the issue is here, right? Guys? Hmm? You understand where the issue with... 13 year old just being oh yeah it's a support. fucking problem there's there's several issues here but that's, that's just fine. one of the first ones like so love much... is love man <laughs> uh... tell that to christian and his mother i did i'm chris uh, i'm gonna get issues. you out of this and i handed i handed them a little gay pride flag and he waved it at me <laughs> oh, of course she you, you know i I wonder if I could go I visit. Say it. I could probably go visit Chris Chan at a, a prison. He's like three hours from me at most. 
You should go cr- kiss Chris Chan on the mouth. I don't think that would be a very fun time for me. <laughs> okay. I mean, sex to suck, I guess. <laughs> But back back to Prostasia. So like this guy, Nor Belotsky, uh he's been protected on Twitter for like a year now. So basically he wrote about adolescent brains for the, the organization. And he's been writing a lot of weird articles like this. So more like writing about adolescent brain. So basically <laughs> Oh my god. That's actually a good one. I'm gonna give you that. That um, one was pretty good, I'm not uh, gonna lie. Yeah. So he basically said, You've heard the argument that brain science shows that adolescents can't make good decisions. Well, that's pretty much hooey. Wait. Like, he full on, that's what he wrote. Like, just like, oh, yeah, yeah, kids can fully, like, Prostasia, like, a lot of their talk is all, always about kids consenting to sex. It's always, it's always there. And they always refer to them as underage people. Like, almost never do they say kids or children. Like, the actual word is, uh, they use is underage people. That's the term that they constantly refer. I can't get over the word hooey. I mean, you know what? Hooey, hogwash, you know, these terms. It's a very scientific term. I just wouldn't get it as a woman. Okay, so basically, there's actually something that I cannot post on, um, there's something that I cannot put on the, uh, on the slideshow because it's pretty kind of explicit, but it's basically someone uh, in the map community on their map support group who's basically talking about seeing a little boy, five years old, walk into the bathroom alone and just just referring to that kid's genitals several times and referring to him as a girl. Yeah. Oh, I hate it here. Yeah, it's... Why did I agree to do this podcast again? You know what? I think I I, I gaslit you into doing it. I gaslit you into doing it. That's well, you literally did. Thing. You were like, "Uh, you already agreed to do this podcast." And then I'm like, "No, I didn't." I I don't know why you did, but uh, I will tell you, L. Okay, look. So basically, um, the whole thing about Prostasia, like, just Prostasia, it's basically a youth autonomy advocate, and they're just constantly pushing for the adultification of kids. And they double down all the time. Like someone will, will call him out on something and he'll be like, no, I don't agree about, I don't agree on that. But there is always a but every time someone calls him on it, he'll be like, but. And their director, big time reply guy, both uh, Noah Belotsky and this other guy, Jared Malcolm. He name searches the organization on Twitter like every day and gets into slap fights with 200 follower randos constantly. Like, you have to wonder how much regular work they're actually doing. I wonder what would happen if a semi-large account were to just... Oh, no, no. They were name-searching. The funny thing is, Shu on Head actually uh, uh, called the guy out. So the director, Noor Belotsky, the guy you've seen on screen several times, um, he basically was talking about Cuties and how a great movie it was. And uh, someone, someone tagged Shu on Head... <laughs> Someone tagged Shuan Head. He's like, no, get that out of my, get that out of my mentions. Delete that. Shuan Head and the other people you tagged are horrible people, horrible, evil people. And, and yeah, it's, that's how bad the guy is. I feel like Vito, Mussolini, and fucking this guy would be such good friends. Okay, look, I, Vito, I'm pretty sure he's, he was trolling about cuties. Ah, yes. The old troll defense. <sighs> I, uh, me when I troll about being a pedophile. Guys, guys, it was a gag. Your Honor, if oh god, dude, calm down. You can't take Vito seriously because he claims to be trolling, but everything he says is like almost unironic. It's not even funny. I got into an argument with Vito once and he pulled up a screenshot of a YouTube video of me from like 2017. Then he was like, You're ugly, and I'm like, Yeah, I was 15. <laughs> I was closer to 16, but it was funny. I mean, still. I wouldn't have told him your age there. That's a bad idea. <laughs> oh, that is, you know what? That's just AB. Oh. I mean, he followed me afterwards, so maybe that had something to do with it. Oh, God. Okay, so the, the thing, um, like I've mentioned how like they constantly like support like um, child sex doll production and sale, right? Do you know what the, like, the reason, let alone, no, uh, okay, see, CEO of sexism. See, Vosh doesn't actually support this organization. That was a fake. I was a fake article. But the funny thing is, like, the things he has said are basically in line with what Prostasia would say. 
like how Vosh. I don't like Vosh because he's fat. Well, that's fair. Vosh, where age is just a product of capitalism. <laughs> Okay, so basically, the, the big problem with, like, sex doll sales and production is, do you know, like, how most sex do child sex dolls are, are made? Like, they're, like, custom made. Uh, no, I'm not familiar. I'm sorry. Okay, you know, that's, that's, that's fair. That's fair. Why most would people... we be familiar with Look, I had, oh, God, I, I had to do a lot of research for this podcast. If I say something, just roll with it. Babe, babe, it was research. just research. <laughs> no, no. Fucking heavy asterisks. <laughs> just roll with it. Okay. So basically, I will not. <laughs> I refuse. <laughs> Make me. Okay, okay. So basically, the thing about a lot of uh, child sex dolls is that they're pretty much custom made, each one. Every and time you say that, the thing about child sex. Dolls. You know what? You That's me fair. Think of like a turkey tom video. It makes That's me fair. fair. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be. That's fair. Look, listen, so basically, there was one Australian uh, store, and a lot, of, a lot of places that make custom sex dolls are like this, which you kind of have to get the stuff custom made anyway. You kind of send in, like, pictures to use for the design. And oh. again, there you, people are sending real children as images for the design to be based off of. So you see how this isn't actually helping anyone. I'm not oh, a fan yeah. it's of a this fucking podcast. Issue. You know what? No one ever is. No one ever really I is. I was gaslit and manipulated into featuring on this podcast. First of all, you are the manipulator of God. You should be aware of it. Lord. <laughs> yes, you got <laughs> demoted from God to Lord. Yeah. Yes, Poe is the god now for how he pulled it off. The amount of gaslighting you did to get you here, Poe is definitely taking your place. <laughs> There's only a certain amount of characters after the word manipulator you can use in a Twitter username, okay? Okay. What about manipulator queen? Four characters. You have four you know characters what? after the word manipulator. I mean, you could have not used the full word manipulator. You could, like... M oh, you could also put my balls in your mouth. You know what? They're imaginary. No, don't, don't, don't. Ah, oh, damn it. Can I put my balls in your mouth? That's like all the voice chat. That's like every voice chat in this server is can I every put time, my balls Every time I jump in voice chat, that fucking song. <laughs> <laughs> and it's all because of Amy. Okay, like, okay. Anyways, uh, shout outs to, shout outs to Citrus, who's in chat saying, uh, no fear, no pity, no remorse. No mm -hmm. point in this one. Okay, so basically, I'm gonna read you guys some Noah Berlotsky tweets, um, and I'm gonna manipulator dog. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is this is one big tweet from him. Pedophiles are essentially a stigmatized group. Certain people get designated as deviants. People hate them. That's one tweet from him. Here's a second uh -huh. one. The issue isn't that people care about the victims who the young people who trade sex. The issue is that pedophiles are loathed. Who do they Us. think is buying sex from children? Basically, is some... Is okay. the pedophiles who are the problem? No, it's the children. <laughs> <laughs> so someone asked him, so you're pro-sex offender. And he replied by quoting, this dipshit is on his TL, loudly proclaiming allyship with black people, and then attacking people for supporting people Targeted by the criminal justice system. So, I have something to say, but I don't think I can say it live. Um, like it's kind of it's kind of weird for someone to go. Um, first of all, pedophiles are just like black people. Okay. No, that's true. Ex He's right. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> We're demonetized. Oh, Ain't no way this podcast is. Right. You know what? You know oh, what? Yeah. I will. I will. I will fight so hard to get it monetized. You. You would not believe. You will take a fat fucking L. If I. Uh, if I have. The, the, what's her name? Susan Wokey Jicky. Whatever her name is. If I have to. Wajiski. Wajiski. If I have to jiski her woe, I will do it. Fucking poles. Jiski her woe. What the fuck, po? What? Literally, what are you talking about? I don't Every know. <laughs> okay, first of all, you understood. The what the fuck are you talking about, <laughs> meme? <laughs> you understood what I mean. Okay, listen. So basically, everything Poe says is sus. True. <laughs> Shut up. That's facts. That's facts. 
Okay, posts. so basically, um, I've read some of their, I've read some of the posts on their forums, and they have stuff like misinformation against maps. I'm not map, but I support the liberation of these people. Yeah, I support the liberation of dropping them out of helicopters. <laughs> Like, basically, everything about them is sus, is the best way to put it. Um, sus. Yeah, they're very sus, and they, they hide all sus of their... Sus in suspiciously hung in the trenches, then shot. <laughs> 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 like, oh, like yeah, they... that's enough, that's enough execution memes. <laughs> yeah, like, they hide everything. Like, they like to play footsie with the, but what if kids can consent? And no, I like to play footsie with my MP40's bolt as well. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> like, and like, they use that, but what if kids can consent logic and constantly push the, use it to say, oh, don't worry, we're anti-pedophilia. We're swear, we swear. Yeah, it, it, according to them, if kids can consent, does that mean bullets can consent to their death? Okay, listen. Sounds let- Pretty reasonable. That's true. That's true. Let me read you. Let me let uh, me okay, read you. I'm, okay, Look. I'm serious this time. I'm done with the execution. Uh, okay, good. Let me read you a quote from like the Prostasia website. Teens find novel experiences stimulating. This can have some downsides, but it's also vital because teens are at a point in their lives where they need to learn lots of new things. Novel experiences should be smoking weed out of a like an apple, not having sex. With, with adults. Adult. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Teen has his novel experience once by watching porn. Listen, listen, listen. The listen. Order just starts slowly fucking creeping up with fucking porn. Here, here is another, here's another uh, tweet from him. Um, there we go. I just like to spank kids. Obviously, that's fine. Again, the point is the child sexual he abuse. Likes to spank listen, kids. he's not, it's not over. The, the tweet is not over. Again, it's the not point. Over. The t- it's not over, no. Again, the point is that child sexual abuse is a thing that normal people do with some frequency. And yeah, spanking your what? kid. Listen, what? it's not over. Okay, hold on, hold on. Wait, and yeah. <laughs> okay, let me start over. There we go. I just like to spank kids. Obviously, that's fine. Again, the point is that child sexual abuse is a thing that normal people do with some frequency. And yeah, spanking your kid can absolutely be sexual, but it's always abuse. Okay. That's Where's a, the loser? Um, how that, much longer do, do I have to be here? You know what? Long you know enough. What? Long enough, yes. To be fair, I think this went better than uh, my podcast with you. <laughs> we had no idea what we were doing back then. Look... Do you know how much uh, research I have done on this? I will not be done until I get to the. I get you to understand. You did research yeah. though. Then this there's is how me. You truly do research. You have someone go do the research for you. They bring you the research. You execute the person who was researched on, and then you execute the researcher. <laughs> Wait, why would You're the researcher be executed? <laughs> no more loose ends, as General <laughs> Shepard would say. <laughs> That that it feels unfair. Wild. That's one less loose thing. <laughs> that feels that feels right from the start. That feels very unfair Thanks, as a buddy. researcher. Did you at least pay him? Oh my God, hey, Amy! You did you at least pay the researcher? Don't tell me you're you're Hassan Pike around here. No, I just I just said that's one less loose end. Okay, and, okay. Look, let me let me continue with this guy. Okay, so basically, so they didn't. Prostasia didn't really have an innocent ex- explanation for mixing a map support group and a child advocacy organization together. Like, they really, if you ask them to explain it, they will talk around in circles forever. Like, they have no evidence for what they do. Their structure makes no sense. Their mission makes no sense. And all they talk about is sexual freedoms. And then they just like somehow warp that around to so so including fucking, kids. Obviously, a fucking pedo ring. Just, I mean, <laughs> imagine you're the FBI agent, and he goes, and he's like undercover. He's like, so why did you stick a child predator support group next to child exploration, you know, prevention group? <laughs> like, you know, <laughs> it's it's efficient. It's sweating. efficient. <laughs> it's very efficient. Very efficient. Yeah, two way. birds, one stone, kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, basically, yeah, like. Um, so basically, this organization, whether it's through neglect and it's probably through intent, not neglect, it's definitely not 
a ch a child I protection. Two birds, one stone. I get two birds, one stuka. Fucking jeez. Oh, fucking two God. birds, one fucking noose. See, you you guys are joking about this. Two birds, one fucking noose. Look, listen. So I don't think you can fit two birds in one noose. I mean, yeah, you, you, might, you might be able to. If you, yeah, I don't know. Depending on how it's how big man, is the bird? This how big is the bird? Hiroshima, like, fucking is it like fast. a pigeon? Are we talking a chicken? Because chickens We're are gy gyroscopic. Chickens. chickens are gyroscopic, and I feel like that would be a lot harder. Depends on how hard you drop it. What yeah, color I don't is think the, the rope is enough for these guys. <laughs> I genuinely think they should get the fucking nuclear bomb. N nuclear? It's like in a test chamber. Stick them all in there and then drop a the fucking blast. nuke. <laughs> <laughs> See, this, this is how we have a blast. Yeah, this is a very fun time. <laughs> Two birds, one nuke. Anyway, okay, so basically... We start with Prostasia, and then we get to Is... Huh? All of them. Anyways. 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 Yes. Okay. So basically, from the research I've done, this is basically a pedo meat market, especially their map support group. Um, they have articles about how it's a good thing to have children there. Um, they basically. So, like, the first thing I can I can tell you straight up, it's absolutely true that people with pedophilic urges de deserve help and support. However, when you turn it, when you accept like offenders, when you accept them as volunteers, you're clearly just making it easy for these people to prey on children. Mm -hmm. Like at a certain so, point. Let, yeah. Let's put a hypothetical here. Yeah. Can you imagine being this poor little organization of pedo ring pedophiles mm -hmm. and then some short woman and a fucking <laughs> tiger one? Starts playing bass boosted Attica for the fucking speakerphones and just runs up to your headquarters. This is like a fucking actual invasion. This would be like the invasion of Poland. <laughs> Amy, I think you just want to enact violence. That is exactly hey, what I want to do against these individuals. <laughs> is enact violence. <sighs> okay, so the funny thing is, like, um, Prostasia also says that therapists are never safe to talk to, but they are. They're only not safe if you're schizo. In which case, nothing is safe. I'm in your walls. That's like, funny. Like, the funny thing about maps in general, they actively keep other pedophiles away from all therapy. They tell you, you don't need therapy, you just need to talk to us. But the thing is, their support, it's like, their support groups are basically like a bunch of uh, meth addicts who are trying to help each other, but in private are just gotta, talking I about how to get more meth. One question, Poe. Is this, is this headquarters like based in France? San Francisco. I can believe it. Damn, same thing. <laughs> so realistically, right, it's only like an eight-hour drive to San Francisco from where I am, right? Possibly, yes. And I own, hypothetically, let's say, um, if I were to own multiple firearms and have multiple unhinged people in my apartment who are looking for an opportunity to use said firearms, okay. Right? First of all, and first it's of only all, an eight hour first drive, of all, first of all, right? this is sounding very oh, fed. I'll, I'll this is sounding very fed posty right now. Okay, I just became a citizen. I'm not trying to lose that. <laughs> so little, uh, we'll find we'll a secret. Uh, I got we'll you. Just car check them with the Panzer Faust. Of course. <laughs> Of course. Okay. So, like, the funny thing about, like, this organization, again, there's a lot of funny things that I've mentioned about them, but, like... It's funny. I'm not having a good time. <laughs> <laughs> this whole podcast is just not having a good time. Like, I, I like to bring can up... Can you imagine being one of the people in chat and just, like, nope, <laughs> I'm leaving? Who's willingly watching this? A, lo I'm, I'm a, lot, of people, a lot of people, apparently. A lot of people. It has dislikes, <laughs> Poe. It has 12 dislikes already? Yes. <laughs> I'm literally, you know what? I feel, I think that's the Prostasia people who are disliking me calling them out. Because this is the most dislike. No, they're all me and my, my 11 alt accounts. This is the most dislike I've ever I'm had. I'm buy an MG42. I need it for like, research. I played 10 minutes. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll join you in your research. Look, I played 10 minutes of Chris Chan talking about what he was doing to his mother, and I did not even get that many dislikes. So you know what? 
Nowhere Belotsky, if that's you and your people disliking this. There's another dislike. Oh, frick it. <laughs> Fight me. Fight me. Why are we worried about dislikes when we should be conducting our master plan to rid these people? From first of all, here? first of all, stop, stop fed posting, Amy. Stop fed speaking. This is not fed know. posting. This, this is, is not German posting. posting. <laughs> oh my god. Me, all, I'm, Amy, all I'm saying, German right, posting. is is our resident fed is already gone. We ousted her ages ago. Oh my god. Stop talking about that fed. Anyway. Jesus Maybe Christ, people. Fed. Oh my god, no. Another dislike. Why? What did I do to you, people? Uh, what did I do to you? Why are you just like... Have you, hold on, time out, time out. Lil, have you not heard the theory yet? Please stop talking about this theory. Okay. What theory? No. Uh, <laughs> while we're here, since Lilith doesn't know, uh, there is a theory that's... I heard about it a little bit ago. Uh, that Kath might have been a fed. Oh my god. Even worse? <laughs> you made because the podcast like worse. Agents. Be the reason I say that the reason In I say that is because apparently you have ruined this podcast, Baku. That would be funny know? because I did directly tell her to kill herself. Oh, so. that, I mean, <laughs> here's the thing: a, first of all, based. Second of all, uh, well, the, there was a Trojan dropped in the server like right after the ousting. Dead ass. And a whole lot of fucking people just came out of the woodwork. You just huh. got two more dislikes, Poe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're the feds. I found them. We are literally at 60% dislikes. This has never happened on any podcast. Ever. Guys, we found any the feds that are disliking the video. Are you sure? <laughs> literally. None of my podcasts have gotten these dislikes. I am literally, this is definitely Noah's people right now. Good God. They're already here? Like, they have to be here. The Chris Chan they're already podcast here, uh, shout zero out to, dislikes. Shout out to Noah's people, uh, I, I I hope you uh take a sudden uh what is it a quick stop and a sudden drop. Literally the the Chris Chan podcast got no dislikes. This actually no, I'm wrong. It got fifteen. Fifteen. Okay, you know what? Yeah, but it had fifteen like, out of six hundred. It had like ten k views, and of course it's gonna get fifteen uh dislikes. Listen, listen. Okay, so either the feds are disliking here, or the pedos are disliking. Either way, I'm not surprised hey, at all. Friends? Exactly. <laughs> okay, the eel video was funny, okay? The eel video. The eel it, video? Okay, it's, it's a video where, like, this Poe is Japanese getting woman, ratioed listen, on YouTube likes. And <laughs> <laughs> There's this uh, Japanese woman needed money, and she left the hair salon, so she did this porn video where she basically got eels, an eel enema, and then they shoved a camera up her butt and looked at the eels while they were in there. And then she kind of just like, uh, butt squirted the eels out. Ew! Can hey, you just po? shut up and never talk again? Thank hey, you. Hey, Po. Yeah. You have just reversed years of very expensive therapy. You know what? Yeah, I, I've I've been there myself. Po, Poor you haven't you know just that. been there. You are there every single day, twenty four seven, no breaks. Okay, listen. Do you want to know how, how what the anti abuse efforts Prostasia has? Huh. You you, know, you you don't want to know. I'll tell you anyway. Listen, they will literally uh, make dark web ads to tell people looking up CP to get therapy, even though like their actual ah uh, anyone who places ads on the dark web is already suspicious as is. <laughs> So they have okay. they they went to they went to websites where people are looking up CP in the dark web and t went there they went to them to yeah. tell people to get therapy for research. Yes, of course. This is not even a job for the FBI. This needs the fucking CIA. This is ridiculous. It's a job for me and a handgun. Oh my but... god, guys! Hey, please, hey, come on, please come stop on, talking about. Handgun. Please stop talking about murder on my podcast. <laughs> <laughs> you well, I, I'm not agreeing with you. I'm disagreeing with you. Women on Twitter to your podcast, <laughs> and you expect murder not to be talked about. Uh, so basically, anyway, you know the psychologist I mentioned, Doctor James Cantor, who who's like t saying that um pedophilia is the same as homosexuality, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's the thing. This, that's is, the thing this, this is getting really. This is ten layers deep right now. <laughs> like he. How long do I have to be here? You know what? Like twenty more minutes stops. This 
This it feels I'm exactly like the JQ, but like <laughs> unironically. <laughs> Oh, it keeps getting worse. Longer. Wait, do I get to talk about the JQ now? You know yes. what? You know what? I, I would this prefer is exactly if you what didn't. It is. <laughs> I would this prefer is... if you didn't talk about the JQ because that was would... okay. You guys mind if I bring someone in real quick? Is Who, is it? Who is it? A plasma rob. Oh, plasma! I thought you were saying if you say Lotto or Paul, please. How do you okay. lower the volume of Amy? You just don't. Okay, so I will I will dip out for bleeding. I will dip out for like five minutes. Please do not talk about violence. Promise. No Wait, promises. Where are you leaving for five minutes? To go talk to someone to invite him in real quick. Hey, plasma, you there? Rub. What's up, Bo? What's you going wanna, on? You want to join the podcast real quick? Uh, if you want me to. I okay. missed it, so I'm out of the loop. I'm behind, but okay, yeah. good, so I have someone to explain it to. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I... Hey, guys, this is Plasma Rob. He's, joy- he's going to be with, with us You're an idiot, bit. Paul. You realize your stream goes with him, right? Oh, really? He, you, you heard me. You guys all heard me. Yes, they heard you, dumbass. We didn't hear you. Oh, that is amazing. Anyway, <laughs> there is a super chat. Uh, Kredaxi. Poe, here's some money for the eventual Noah hit money. I'm not going to perform a hit on Bass! anyone. Bass! I'm not going to perform a hit on anyone. Okay, so Plasma. Um, you won't. Yeah. Lois well, needs funding. <sighs> this is Look, true. Basically, there's an organization called Prostasia, and they try and hide b- their whole thing behind, oh, we're supporting people. Right. We're supporting children, we're protecting them, we're keeping them safe from pedophilia. But right. everything around there, all their arguments always circle around to giving children and teenagers more autonomy so they can explore sex. Yeah, and- I'm a dad and um, I need to buy a wood chipper. <laughs> like, it's always constantly about, oh, yeah, sure, of course, pedophilia is bad. And the- but they always have a big old butt. Well, they never say if it's bad, but it's always like bad. And so no, no, they we're have, gonna they do have, they this have thing with like, yeah. we're gonna do a support group for maps and miners. You're like, no, no, like they, 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 they <laughs> said, not the way. They've said but <laughs> become more. They've said but it's an implicit but. Yeah, I mean, those they are, have they, said yeah. They have said explicit yeah, but. You know what? Chad is right. This podcast does suck. You know what, guys? You manipulator it's... God for pointing me out your name. <laughs> You're welcome. Saying what not all even opposed the stands here. Insane. You know what? Next podcast we'll it's... we'll do something lighter. We'll talk about fem cells, and I will invite Manipulator God back for some actual fun and not Manipulator Lord. Manipulator Lord. I you will never that. get this right. You know this. It's incredible <laughs> stuff. I will. I will it's... invite her back for fem cell discussions that are fun. Fem cells. And we... Can we, can we invite Dude, a fem cell? Well? Thing is, the, okay. The funnier <laughs> thing is, is that I haven't lining, slept. Please? Are you going to cover Emma Watson on fem cells? Wait, one second. Lilith? I have not slept in over 24 hours, and this is what I'm doing. Yeah, uh, no, I'm not surprised with that. Last podcast. And I think... <laughs> I think I'm going to die, actually. No, last part. No. I didn't so sleep for 48 hours. I did for not helping. sleep for 48 hours, and I was, I, was, I was talking about some dude who killed his son while wearing diapers. And... Are you trying to compete with Wendigoon? <laughs> no, Wendigoon was there. Wendigoon All I'm saying is... Wendigoon and Rusty Cage were there for that podcast. They were talking with me. Yeah. And we we all established that, honestly, um, what's her name? Casey Anthony is the, Casey girl, Anthony. Boss, the girl boss queen. Let me explain, first of all. Okay, listen. Please don't. <laughs> okay, I will Just not. please don't. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot that goes on in these podcasts. We come to some interesting conclusions, okay? Well, none you've come to, I disagree with. <laughs> At least regarding Prostasia. Oh, except whoa, except whoa. for Poe's research. I'm not, whoa. not. I don't know how I feel about that. You have this research is all just. It's the it's the first thing that comes up when you search Noah Berlotsky or Prostasia. I I barely had to dig that deep. It came to me. Oh, I know. I, imagine, I was there like, on Twitter. I, I saw like classic... stuff. It came to all of us in, in our Twitter circle. Like, I've been like glancing over the over the <laughs> the list of stuff that's going on. It's just like this is ridiculous. I don't. I, 
I, I, I, I'm a little, I'll be honest, I'm a little burnt out right now on the news. I still pay attention, but it's like, oh, great, Australia's got concentration camps. Oh, we left a bunch of American citizens in, in uh, Afghanistan to die. Oh, they're doing horrific things beyond words to the families of translators. Let's see what else is going on. Oh, hey, <laughs> it's just like uh, people are being force fed black pills at this point. So like, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm I'm lucky that I, I enjoy ignorance very much. So if I see something sad on Twitter, I go, that's fake. And I set down my phone. <laughs> How long do you think it's going to be till they're forcing people to take a daily COVID pill? Because the pharmaceutical companies are already trying to do that. Just like, this is ridiculous. Where does this stop? Where does it to, stop? I'm I went off this wild the ride. <laughs> I'm going to take one for the team and I'm going to vor the CEO of Pfizer. You know, <laughs> the funny thing is, like, do you think, like, uh, like I think the booster shots are going to cost money. They, the really thing you have to remember in mind is things are costing money to somebody. That if you're getting it free at Walmart, Walmart's paying for it. So these pharmaceutical companies are making a lot of money from stuff, even when people are not, quote unquote, not paying for it. It's just being paid for by other organizations. True. Okay, so... Um, I wonder what... if I could start a bootleg COVID vaccine business. <laughs> it's called it's ivermectin. <laughs> you're just not allowed to say that word. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, imagine what would happen if um what's what's his name it Joe, Rogan Joe Rogan had actually died of COVID. Well, he didn't because he took a whole bunch of things, one of which was ivermectin, so he's been fine. No, people would, no, Twitter would never shut up if, if Joe Rogan had died. Joe Rogan is too much of an alpha to die. As much as I hate to bring in alpha discourse, my boyfriend he's, did shrooms once, and all of my roommates dropped shrooms, and I'm schizophrenic, so I can't really do them. So I was sitting there stone cold sober and they were all like intently listening to the joe rogan podcast it was the funniest <laughs> thing I've i didn't ever know people to. listened to him on drugs i wonder what that's like hmm. wait wait, wait. <laughs> no <laughs> someone like i was i was in podcast why i was in a discord chat and someone told me like i explained what happened to me after i i, I took 255 grams of concentrated weed oil in an in a edible and after i i have never i haven't taken weed in like three wait, three to four wait, years wait 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 what did you say I took a 255 uh, edible, 255 gram edible of concentrated weed oil. And I hadn't like taken any weed in four years. And I had only taken a little bit before. And basically I, I went on the, on an acid trip and um, someone told me, Hey, from what you told me of how you reacted from that, please never do acid or DMT or mushrooms. Don't do drugs, kids. Yeah, yes. don't do drugs. Don't do drugs. No, drugs are bad. Drugs are bad, drugs, okay? <laughs> drugs are drugs bad. Are bad okay? Okay? Do drugs. Execute pedophiles. Base. Okay, that's base. Drugs Listen. are fun, I will Listen. say. Let and they will no, be no. the best time of your life. And when let, you stop no, no. doing them, you will miss them for the rest of your life. Let me, let me tell you right um, now. Actually, let me tell you right I, now. You, you should do them. Let me tell yeah. you right now. You should, like, what it did to me, it was, like, just that. It was, like, I have never, like, I, I, I'm not a person who gets scared like that. Like, I don't feel a lot of things, and I felt oh. a lot of things, and I didn't like feeling them. It was just, it's like, like I, I felt things, and I threw up on somebody. It was not fun. Po, imagine Poe walking into your room and like, I, I food up. It's not good, yeah. man. Yeah, look at what the boomers, look at the boomers, what they're doing to our society after doing all the drugs they did in the 60s. And we've got stuff that's a lot more powerful than that. So, like, do you really, do we really want to become the boomers to the next generation? Or do we want to say, cash me a stab with that? Like, <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't, I just don't think drugs are far worse and there's far more harm than good. And I, I, it's just, just because something's good in the moment doesn't mean it's good in a long time. Like it feels great to go and shoot somebody, but like, then you go to jail. (laughs) It's like, doesn't matter if it matters in the moment, it matters long-term. And I feel like it, yeah. You know, as someone who was addicted to cocaine for multiple years, um, it was fucking awesome. And I would recommend it to everyone. Listen, listen, like, um, the funny thing is I spoke to my, 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 um, my, my, my uncle's a doctor. Well, a lot of my families are doctors, but. My uncle's a doctor, and he basically uh, gave me this drug for my sleep issues. And I asked him, what is it like? And he was basically like, he basically, in a hushed voice, said, have you ever done methamphetamines? I was like, of course not. He'd be like, well, it's, it's, like, it's like diet methamphetamines. And I'm like, you're, you're giving me this? Yeah, that's a turn off. No. And he was like, well. Only well, diet? 
all drugs are basically diet version diet versions of the drugs people take for fun. And oh God, yeah, absolutely. Like Ritalin. And I well, diet. somebody in the chat said drugs are bad. And don't take your Adderall, and that's I had a brother who was really screwed up by Adderall when he was younger, and it's he still struggles to this day because of it. Like drugs are not good. The, um, uh, Jordan Peterson, actually, if we're talking about ones like Adderall and other ADHD med- meds in general. That's uh, what those do is they suppress the play circuit that you can you can basically get. It's the trick to get somebody whose body has been designed and evolved to be able to go out and adventure and kill the animal and bring it home and all that manifested as recess and playgrounds to sit in a chair and shut up. Like that's what Adderall does is it, it, it basically shuts off the, the mental circuit of exploration. And that's bad. Bad. Full stop. There's, there's just no. We're, we're solving problems that were that we created with drugs. In this case, it's the Department of Education, Circle with Joe Wilson. But like, you just. Also, if you are an adult, drugs? an ADHD medication does legitimately help you. There's nothing wrong with that. Wait, right. Also, the funny thing is, you and know what? I generally the advice is trust your doctor. I've been, I've been mad for up. years. Th- yeah. They took away my recess when I was in elementary school. Oh, I'm still pissed about it. It's like I've been mad. The they, took, yeah. they took away I my recess. It. They took away actually moving in gym. They took away my freaking dodgeball. Do you know how much I look love at the dodgeball? Stuff. Look at the go. Look up pictures of the school programs under uh, JFK when they had the the gym programs, and you get like there's a whole bunch of memes about it to this day. Of like, you go watch like. Danny Phantom or some other cartoon where they got the scrawny protagonist and he hates gym class or whatever. Like that's, that was all through two thousands cartoons. Like back in the day, like they basically were trying to make every boy in school into like an, a big tough alpha bro giga chat. Like that was the, that was the, the day back in the 60s, 70s, they tried to do that in school and it was, people were way better shape. They were way, well, way healthier, way fitter and way happier. And for some reason we just decided to go the extreme opposite in the late nineties or early two thousands and just abandon and discard and destroy. There's like every playground near a, near a whole high school is like haunted at this point. And that's actually kind of good. I've never seen, I almost like the last few years, like even before COVID, I never saw kids on playgrounds. Find old middle schools. Like I, I, Went to one when I was kid. Find old mid- middles. There's like these haunted playgrounds near them that haven't been a kid hasn't played on in 15 years. There's a lot of haunted playgrounds around our country. Just like there's going to be a lot of haunted funeral homes in 20 years <laughs> oh. <laughs> or old folks' homes. <laughs> well, I just checked. It's, uh, one second. I just checked. What's it called? Uh, you know, Noah Belotsky. I told you how he's been protected for like a year, right? Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, and the other director of uh, Prostasia, the. Uh, They've been protected for a long time. They just unprotected to basically say, um, give like a whole thing about the last, uh, like, because they've been getting a lot of heat over the weekend. They put out a whole statement and it's pretty freaking lame. Like, What's how do you spell this guy's name? Huh? How do you spell this guy's name? I cannot forget, figure okay. it out for the it's last It's got time. an A in it. Noah. With, Noah. with that though, I, I will just have to say I'm going to hop off. Uh, you guys take it easy. All right, okay, have a good no day, problem. man. No problem, Baku. Let's see. So uh, his name is N O A H and then Berlotsky. Oh, yeah, Berlot. thanks. It really fucking helps. <laughs> I, know, I know. I'm just Jackass. With you. Sorry, sorry. B E R T L A. No, wait. B E R L A T S K Y. Okay, thank you. So let's see. Uh... Like, see, even oh no, he's like, protected. Oh, he went back to protected. Okay, so um, even even people like Arthur Chu, who's been friends with Noah Berlotsky for like a long time, basically says, "I cannot stand by Prostasia or anyone who works for it." So huh. every basically everyone, even the people who are supporting him, are going against it. And the funniest thing about Prostasia is that their mascot is a pantsless elephant with a tail boner. What? Yeah. I'm I'd sorry? have to see it to understand what you just said because, like, okay. I can't visualize it. Okay, I, I will. I will. I will. <laughs> what am this, I googling? Let, no, let me let me post it. If you if you're watching the stream, I'll post it right there. I am. Uh, okay, so this is their. This is their. What's it called? Let me bring it up. Here is their. Here is their mascot. A pantsless elephant. With a tail boner. All, all we see is 
your Noah Berlatsky search. Okay, give oh, it like five there. seconds. A pantsless elephant. Oh, there and it goes. Tail boner. What? Like it's a it's a very child friendly mascot. That's really weird. Yeah, it is. That's if like... I saw that damn thing in my living room, I would <laughs> stomp it until it was a small brown stain. What? Don't you mean small gray stain? No. Let's talk about the elephant in the room. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's talk about the elephant question. Oh, the elephant question. Oh, I really. Why an I... elephant? It, it, it's it's just ignore it, ignore it, ignore it. Oh. So basically, um... don't think it, don't say it, don't think it, don't say it. <laughs> I really hope we do not get because like every problem ever note uses like... an elephant because like ever note never forget like learning about the French. You just absolutely hate everything they've ever done. Amy, I think that's just you who hate. You know what? To be fair, a lot of people don't like the French. I was going to say that's... Yeah, no, I really don't like the French. Okay, well, the Germans what? aren't much better off, so... <laughs> I'm sorry? You, you're speaking to two Germans. You're cornered. You're the American you're kind, cornered. so I don't care. Tiger one. Well, actually, you know, Amy, Amy, okay, Amy is full-on European. Buddy. She's full-on European. As long as you're not into the Hegelian nonsense, I don't care. Because that's how you get the prostate, prostation people. <laughs> Every you know single one of those German philosophers that we have to build on or like you know, I promise okay guys, I promise next week is gonna be a much more fun podcast and less about creepy pedo organizations. Right. I mean it's I not only can't believe I got gaslit into be being on the, the you know pedophile what? podcast. First of all, I gaslit my <laughs> I gaslit myself into inviting you. I didn't realize I forgot which one I invited you for. So that's Why would somebody it. tag me? Well, okay, hold on. Why? Because some the only reason you DM me is because someone tagged me and was like, "Hey, she would be good for this topic because it's something that I talk about." I, you are a very frustrating person. You know what? <laughs> you know who also has said that? Every woman I've ever spoken to, plus my mother. Wow. Is your mom not Could counted they ever in the women? More right, though. <laughs> This is a win for the women. Literally every woman rare, I've ever dated been like, why are, dub. why are you like this? And I'm like, you know what? I'm just, I'm just like smooth and relaxed and chill. Smooth and yeah. relaxed. <laughs> that is how you describe what you have done. Okay. Smooth and relaxed. Like, okay, look, you know what? The, the, the least yes, smooth I thing. I smoothly gaslit every fucking person who's uncomfortable with this topic to just show up on the podcast. Making people look, uncomfortable is what Pose do, does best. Mizuni here, buddy here, not follow him on Twitter. The least <laughs> smooth thing I have ever done, the least smooth thing I've ever done is accidentally laughed at a girl, at the girl I was dating when her dog died. That was the least smooth thing I've ever done. And you know what? I laughed. Oh, oh my God. Like, it sounds like you do that all the time. First of all, how many dogs That's do you think relatable, die around though. me? How many dogs do you think die around a me? A okay? lot. First of a all. A lot. First of all. First of all. I, I walked into like I Chinese walked into that one. In your fucking I walked I walked into that about? one. Okay, I walked into that one. Okay, um, but no, no it was only it. one time. And to be fair, she kind of set it up for me, and my brain just immediately. Oh, it's it. <laughs> it's her fault why you laughed about her dog being dead. First of all, <laughs> what the fuck, Paul? I, I don't think you're see a scenario person. where he, that happens to somebody saying... where you go. <laughs> I'm not going. Saying, although, actually, news. my dog died. You know, ha, ha, ha. No, seriously. No, oh, listen, no. I do it's... relate to that. I do dog relate dying to dying is kind of a joke. Bad. Thank you. Okay, so I do. My you. comparison okay. of Poe remains true. It's I, like okay. Poe gets flashbangs, and then the flashbang wears off, and he's just strangling a child. That is exactly what Poe is. Th that is based totally also, unrelated. Lilith, Lilith, sorry continue. for the noise. Oh, that was an Amber Alert. Um. Oh, we didn't hear anything. Sorry, that was me. Lilith, continue. Um, so when I was first starting to hang out with my boyfriend, I was over at his house because he was still living with his parents and I had snuck in and he was like, oh yeah, my parents are leaving in the morning so you can just come down and like, I can say that I brought you over in the morning. I'm like, awesome. And he went, oh no, not awesome. They're going to put my dog muddy down. And I laughed really hard <laughs> because See? what the fuck is that? See, like this is, I feel like I'm at home finally. Anyway, I, if you haven't heard the story, I will tell it before I call it a day. Okay, so basically... Oh, um, we have 26 dislikes. How? Okay, so basically... It, a lot of them were before the video. Like, that's weird and fishy. Like, people are out to get Poe. There's like a 
seven or twelve dislikes like an before hour before. The I was like, Maybe it's because the there's two women on the podcast on instead of one. Huh? That is odd. I, I I'm definitely sure it's it's Noah's people by now, it's, especially if it's before the video. So basically, um, the thing is, like, I was I was I was young, I was dumb, and I was talking to this Latina, and I, we were dating, and I was helping her study. And one day she came to the library and she was like crying and trying to hold back her tears. I was like, hey, babe, what's wrong? What's, you can talk to me. Just tell, tell me all about it. And she was like, okay, um, so my dog, um, my dog died. And I was like, oh, that's horrible. I was like, yeah, he got hit by a car. I'm like, oh, that's even worse. And then he showed me a picture. And it was like a chihuahua. And like, I didn't know how long chihuahuas lived. And I was like, how old was he? And he was like, oh, he was like uh, six years. And I'm like, oh, well, you know, that's do you know how long that is for like a rat like rats live like a year or so and she was like chihuahuas can live up to 12 years and i'm like well not in traffic and then oh, she, she started, oh dear like, I didn't realize not what in I traffic said. and then I, I after a moment i realized what i said and then i started laughing while she was just staring and then like while inside the uh the library she was just pu throwing punches into my chest inside and I tried to hug her and act like nothing was going wrong while I was just being domestically abused in public. And then, like, you the deserved it. The librarian was like, get out of here. And so, like, I basically like, had her around my arm and walked her out while she kept punching me. She didn't stop punching me until we got outside. And she said, don't talk to me again. And so, like, a few days later, I went to her house. I, I stopped by PetSmart first and I got a little white uh, hamster. And. I, br I got a cage for it and everything, and I named the guy Hamsterveal because he looked so cute. And then I brought it to her, and then I gave it to her. And then I, at the moment, I didn't realize how offensive it was bringing her uh, a rodent when I compared her chihuahua to a rat. But like later, I was like, oh yeah, that's, I probably should have done that. But then I gave it to her, and then she slammed the door in my face and never spoke to me again. And that's the story. Yeah, you're kind of a dick. You know, you're not. The... Yeah, you kind of a jerk thing to do, but I won't say it wasn't. It was completely unfunny. And I, I will got say her the chihuahuas pet. are in fact rats. Like, I got her a pet. Not a fan of chihuahuas. I got her a pet to uh, make up for it. Yeah, a rodent. A cute little rodent. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Let me process rat. this. Let me review and make sure I understand this. Did she lose her chihuahua and oh, no. you got her a... It got, it got hit by a car, yes. Her chihuahua got hit by a car and so you bought her a rat. It was a Same hamster. Thing. It was a hamster. Same thing. Yeah. Uh, it's just like a rat. Uh, <laughs> Chihuahuas are Yeah, rodents. I feel like it's an insult to the chihuahua. It does okay, feel like that's she kept making it the worse. Hamster. Wait. I like my, how none of my, you are acknowledging that chihuahuas are just like fucking rats. <laughs> anyway, they are. Not. They are. No, okay, hold on. Okay, I will agree for one hamster, or not hamster, fuck. <laughs> one chihuahua. <laughs> my boyfriend has, and my boyfriend, his, his family has this chihuahua named Dutes after Deuteronomy. Um, Deuteronomy? And he is, Deuteronomy? Yeah. Deuteronomy. <laughs> Sorry, I cannot pronounce it. Uh, Deuteronomy. No no okay. problem. Like a lot of people, so, a lot of people do that. Trust me, I know. I've been. Um. So that's what the Chihuahua is named after. He's 16 years old and he's fat and it's my favorite Chihuahua ever because he just kind of vibrates. I hold him like a hamburger yeah, whenever yeah. I go over to his parents' house. He's do great. you hold him like a hamburger? <laughs> Chihuahua <laughs> you know vibrates. I mean? Why are you all so weird? <laughs> First, Manipulator holds your fucking. Dog like a hamburger. Poe fucking replaces it's a not my dog. dog. Wait, no, hold on. Wait. Fuck you. I'm literally just saying that I hold it with like two hands, hamburger style. I will. Hamburger ooh, I can't style right. is the comparison you're using here. Not that you just held it up with two hands. You Never mind like the chihuahuas were hair. used for prey for food for larger animals and pets in the past. Like they were used to train hunting dogs, I believe. I mean, that makes sense to be honest. In South America, also, I believe that's the history Amy, of their breeding. Amy, I'm under the impression that you're European, correct? Ah, uh, yes. Like, live in Europe. You have no fucking right to call anyone here weird. What do you mean? Okay, I don't live in any weird parts of Europe. Can you even own a gun? Yes. 
Have you? Mm. Do you own a gun? Yes. Oh, actually, yeah, she does. She does. Oh. Trust me. She she owns. Oh wow. Yes. She, she does own a gun. A European who owns. Do you know gun? how to use it? And do you lock your door at night? She she of has course. used the why gun. Would I, yes. No 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 wait hold up. First of all, why would I not know how to use a firearm that I own? Two, why wouldn't I lock my door at night? <laughs> Am I fucking stupid? Okay. I was just asking how much of a challenge I'm gonna have. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh, I don't my. think there's gonna be much resistance if I catch you showing up at my door. Anyway, this has been a great wait, stream. Wait, hold on. What the fuck does that this mean? This has been a great stream. Thank you, everyone, for showing what up. Is that we, 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 we will oh. continue this cat fight offline. Yes. Thank you, <laughs> Signing guys. Signing off, ladies and gentlemen. Cat fight? I thought there was going to be sex involved.